Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Dead Row King here with some more lies of penis. All right, guys. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. This is the end. In the beginning, and there was a fucking stargazer right here. Are you fucking joking? Oh no, fucking way. I went down here for nothing. Nothing. Simon Mattis confessions. Father like God. A father is like God to his son. Even I, Simon, was no different in my youth, but the one who created me was no normal human. My abilities were extraordinary. You're a failure too, the ability to read minds. Being abandoned in front of God meant the world's destruction. From then on, my life existed to make a world without lies. A world where no one betrays you and there is only truth, even if it's forced. Now the finale is here. Once the door is open, it can't be closed. For humankind, I, Simon, gave up being human and decided to walk the path of immortality and the truth. My body will be broken and reformed as a god that was torn apart. I leave this record in my last moments as a human. Simon Pistris Manas. There's a girl here. It's a man with full god complex, eh? One last level up. Might as well break even. We should get some flame abrasive. A flame. You know. Also, by the way, I picked up the chest earlier. I just had to jump. I just overestimated the jump time. It was this. Increase critical attack. You know, but it's fine. I think I will. I'll take the slightly heavy. Rhinestone. Burn. A god will burn today, Simon. You face the white warrior. The white won't ronin. Ugly ass god. I get you, you barely look like you're holding yourself together. Is it not magnificent? Not with Sully by your hands. Or hand. And a key that opens a world with no lies. A world with no key free will. That unlocks true evolution. A world with no surprise. <sighs> not a world at all. Give thanks. There goes a gift from me, Pick it up. Simon Monis, who will transgress even God. Bow down to your God, who will be born now. Present one, Show and I'll me bow. You have, puppet of Japan. God, don't bleed. Ugh. Let's 
guy to take a face off. Ah! Ah! There it is. Such a weak god you are. Go on. <laughs> Suckle at the Ergo's tits. This is evolution. This is a monstrosity. This is madness. Behold, this as is I discard Sparta. this fragile body. <laughs> Witness Whoa. as I grasp the power of a true god. Okay. That's going to be fun. Eh? Huh? So that's his real body? Oh, his new real body. Why a head shaped like a dick? Did he put me in a domain expansion? What the fuck is that? Oh my gosh. My man has the power of God and enemy on his side. Oh shit. That's gonna be bad. Oh! Ah! 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 Just in case. I use fire on his first one. Show me everything you have, Puppet of Gemento. Come see it. Gotcha. 
Increase the effects of the grindstones. Show me everything you have, Puppet of Japan. Like a toddler's first hamster.
almost have him dead. Come on. Come on. Ah! There we go. I guess there's no critical hits for this guy. Yes! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh. You were born a god. And lived short. That funny, the most short lived god in history. <sighs> Holy crap. So, it comes to this the Blue Fairy, Sophia, decides the winner. About that. Truly, I envy you. The puppet, my Sophia, keeps turning back time to save. Oh, that's Is why I keep reviving. Duty, or her contempt for me? Or does she truly care for you? Who knows? Either way, I she hates you. Predicting Sophia's actions long ago. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. A god? Well, the influence hear my thoughts. What have you done to me? I'll tell her the truth. I'll tell her the truth. Sophia. I gave her peace. Yes. I suppose that was her wish. Sophia was always wise beyond her years. Knowing the truth of people's minds is a curse. I would not have been able to bear it if it weren't for Sophia. Yet you treat her like crap. Heart was a tonic for my pain. That's why I wanted her. I did. Hmm. But I couldn't have her in the end. So I tried to use this power to hold her. Even if these hands never could. It's fine if I'm gone. But be warned. Watch out, Fortune Bender. I know. You can't be trusted. Follow one Zergo. Arm of God. The Arm of God obtained after defeating Simon Menace. It is a mysterious relic that the alchemist treated as a sacred object. The alchemist believed that there, uh, there was once a god who was ripped to shreds trying to give him give immortal life to the humans he so loved, and they wanted to revive him. However, the god who was deep in sleep never answered their prayers. Damn. Homie tried to give... Homie tried to give, uh... Homie tried to give huma uh, humanity some immortality. Someone said, nah. Told his ass apart. He jumped them, most likely. Now him, he really scared me. A human becoming a god? Terrifying. But a puppet becoming a human? Now you have my attention. Suit yourself, but sounds fun to me. I wonder, what'll happen now? Who knows? I sure don't know. But I do know one thing. You're stuck with me, and I'm stuck with you, pal. Wouldn't have it any other way. Me too, Jimmy. Me too. Tell Crack real quick. 
quick. See how everybody's doing. Records you obtain while playing the game can be played using a gramophone at the hotel. You can listen to music on the rope records to take humanity. Hey guys, how's it going? I always welcome friends. Nothing new. You are here. That's. <sighs> I should work on my P organ a bit. Work on these grindstones. I think about it. Because these durations were kind of crap. Just gotta increase their durations. And then stagger attack from behind. Bucket is a big. Uh, see if I can find a grindstone. I don't really believe type. Hmm. Survival type? It's guard recovery too. Hmm. Oh, it's post cell recovery. We should find that. There we go. Alright. I guess we're at the part where we can choose how the story ends. So let's see what we have here. Teleport to another stargazer. Under the abyss. Everybody, even a bad guy, says don't trust Geppetto anymore. He did cause a puppet frenzy. We need to know why. If it gives me an option for choosing which ending I can do, I will go for the obvious bad one. Then I'll go again for the good one. I knew you could do it. We have all the ingredients we need. For what? I dreamed of this day for so long. The moment you'd come back to life. I'm already back to life. You can be human again. By using that vast supply of ergo and the arm of God. That's why you did it. I just need the final ingredient. So you... So you the can one that bring holds back Carlos. your memories and your lifespan, your heart. If you give me your heart, all these trials and tribulations will be over. You have been a brilliant and a good boy. As your reward, I shall turn you into a real boy. You've gone mad, Geppetto. Give me your heart, son. Bad endings obviously give him a heart, so I'm gonna give him my heart. Yes. You are a good boy till the very end. I believed in you. 
You are the greatest puppet I ever made. And yet you made them all go frenzy. We can be happy now. Thanks to you. Are we? You killed so Thank many you. people. You are such <coughs> a good boy. And you're a bad boy, Geppetto. A very bad, bad boy. You need a punishment. It only takes my heart. even put my body down gently. Just threw me on the ground. So this is where, this is obviously the bad ending. The madman does all this. And Geppetto... Huh? Is that Carlos? The real Carlos? Damn, so just the up and leave like that cause a puppet frenzy. Look at that, I'm still a puppet. It's obviously Geppetto's the evil one in this story. This finally feels like family. Thank you for it. Oh! Carlo. So that was blood. I killed everyone Is this here. Truly the future you wanted? Hell no. So you killed all of them? You're mad. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collini. My gosh, I, I killed final report everybody on the Crod experiment. You certainly took your time, Paracelsus. Your findings? I think we have a new brother. A new type of humanity, so the to speak. The alchemist! He lived. Eternal life. It's intriguing and worth further observation. Noted. And um, we'll have to get his arm back anyway. I'm counting on it. Expect another report at the next meeting. Paracelsus returning. Ah, so. And when I return, I will find her. For sure. Her. Another key of ours. Dorothy. Dorothy? You gotta be shitting me. Oh, she, she, the red heat. That's Dorothy. So Dorothy's in Krat? So like the next story is going to be like Krat? If you start the next playthrough, you won't be able to continue the current playthrough. Do you wish to continue? The items below will not be inherit, inherited. All collectibles except records, Krat supply boxes, Vanigi collections. All right. This guy was fucking nuts, man. I press circle. Just so I can, uh... Just so I can see the aftermath. Like, he made me kill everyone. He didn't make me into a human. He made me into the most obedient puppet ever. So is everyone gone? Wait, what the... Oh my gosh, you replaced all the puppets. Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? Oh my gosh. Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? He replaced everyone. Vinigi, Carlo, Eugenie. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? 
That old bastard's crazy. Even you were replaced. He wishes my command, Sir Carlo. My gosh, don't tell me he made me replace her. She's not there. Uh, even you? Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. This is evil. Geppetto, why'd you make me kill them? It's because I told them the truth? My goodness. You are so going down next run. Oh, you kept her dead out of respect, huh? Geppetto's letter. Thank you for coming back to me, Carlo. I no longer bear a grudge. Now that you're back, my life is rosy. To make you happy, I plan to stabilize Krat. I suppose getting the puppets and their petrification disease under control will return the city back to normal. Remember, you have to be careful with your body. Even though you're an organism, you react to ergo. Maybe it's because the artifact was once of the materials still. You came back and that's what matters. No matter what the others say, you're my son. No one will be in our way again. I'll rebuild Krat for you. Until then, please stay safe in the hotel. Your father, who cares about you more than anyone. Yeah, clearly, you fucking sacrificed everyone and everything. Geppetto was the real villain the entire time. My gosh. So, the story... He basically makes a puppet friends. He works with the alchemist. It's tandem, in a way. Oh wait, no, the alchemist works separately. He works in his own way. Each each master behind each thing. So the true evil in this world is, well... Geppetto? So, Geppetto's just a monster. Not the ending I wanted. <laughs> My gosh. But hey, I get a second run. I just straight up dropped everyone. Like no one's business. know the truth about her brother yet. Like, damn! Alright, everybody. I'm gonna stop it right here. The next episode will be the true ending. Someone in there? Oh shit, the lady in red! Tom? Oh, who are you? You're not a puppet. No. Are you here to listen to my music? I can't sing anymore. This petrification Aww, disease, she got the petrification disease took away my songs. Riddles. I was fooled by him. 
He said this place was a the shelter. Patricia, I'm so sorry. Oh, about your sister. Oh, Patricia, I'm so sorry. I'm parched. Just a taste of fruit. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Damn. God. Ate the apple this so fast, couldn't see it. This is the sweetest <laughs> apple I've ever had. I can't stop death from taking me. But I have enough strength to confess my sins. Can you listen to my last confession? Yes. Patricia, I coveted your voice. If I can't match it, then even if I have to break you, oh. Adelina Corday must have it all. You're the one who poisoned I know your sister. It's wrong, but still, I love you. Oh my gosh, woman! I have to kill you to stop it all. There's no other way. The burning of the Lord of the Grand Covenant bind us. Where is Covenant? Maybe this is what real freedom feels like. Thank you. Damn. Ooh, record. I'm just a guest here, with no special obligation to the hotel. But if you still want to hear... <laughs> The alchemist said they would help me escape from the city. Talk about an offer I couldn't refuse. I can't live in the hotel forever. I need to move up and move on. Also, there was someone who was so annoying. That's all. Does that suffice? There should be something left at the dock. Right. <laughs> I had a feeling you would ask sooner or later. It's because of that girl, isn't it? I am not Alidoro. The Hound. Not the real one, anyway. I used to be Alidoro's partner. I admired him, to be honest. <laughs> he was amazing. Amazing at everything, except making a profit, that is. But he didn't need to cut me off just because I sold some antiques. I mean, what's a few antiques when you've got bills to pay? We argued. One thing led to another, and... I had to kill him. And stealing his identity was the logical next step. My original code name is Parrot, after all. Fitting, isn't it? Oh, he was also from the country of the morning. Maybe he shares some blood with the girl. And that's my story. Tragic tale. Do you want to hear more? There should be something left at the dock. It oh. What a murderous air you have. I know what you are. That limitation makes it seem like your creator didn't trust you very much. So, what will it be? Leave quietly? You could be joking. Don't come any closer. You're like a human. I heard it from a recent arrival. Alidoro is dead. I know he's a fake, so it doesn't matter. Still, I wonder what happened to the real Alidoro. The one who saved me. I shudder thinking about it. Do you have any ideas? I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. Oh, oh, 
What? Wait, I'm confused. Wh what are you talking about? An older brother? Uh, this letter sounds like it could be my brother. The part where it says, We are from across the wide ocean. It sounds foolhardy to jump to conclusions. But it also fits with what happened at the workshop tower. Uh, sorry, it's just so sudden. I need some time to think. I did some sleuthing. My older brother's mark is part of the decryption. He used a mark of the country of the morning. I have no choice but to believe it's real. After all, we are the only people here who would use that mark. Why did my brother leave? What could it mean if he knew the secrets of the alchemists and Krat? <laughs> I'm so angry. Does he think he's better than everyone trying to protect me from a distance? He could have at least said something. All I wanted was a chance to meet my real family. <laughs> it, sorry, I'm just grumbling. I should thank you for uncovering this secret that matters to me. This was precious. It's the only thing my brother left me. And now I'm giving it to you. You showed me the truth after all. And that's priceless. The player. Aren't you God, this better power? Why? What if I the play? Oh, wasn't it? Thanks, humanity. But I have to admit, even now, the play. Benini. Oh. <laughs> a beautiful fool, but a fool nonetheless. A mere slip of a boy when I met him. <gasps> and did he ever thank me for making him an orphan with my bare hands? Hmm? Like for giving him everything he has on a silver platter by removing the dead weight holding him back. <laughs> Of course I'm not sorry, it was a delectable murder. Of the many, many I have committed since, the Beninis, they have to be my personal favorites. They engineered the very first automated puppets. Enslaved puppets without even understanding what they'd done. I didn't go there to take revenge for what his parents did. I mainly just wanted to slaughter them because they were so damned happy. Ah, oh, what a great memory. In their last moments, they begged me not to kill their child. <sighs> so I didn't. I'm not a machine. I have free will. I made a choice in the heat of the moment. And it was a choice driven by that most human of emotions. Curiosity. If the child survived, would he be traumatized for life? Become a coward, a vengeful puppet, hating bigot, a despairing wretch? Would he fling himself into the sea? Would he remember the devil that orphaned him before his eyes was a puppet. Would he remember? Arlecchino. Not surprisingly, the alchemists and people of the workshop were as artless as I expected. Concealing the truth. <sighs> Thanks to them, I get to see Manini endure twice as much pain. Control myself. <laughs> oh, you're so satisfied. Benini is one of my greatest accomplishments. Perhaps even 
my masterpiece. <laughs> I suppose I can return this. I've held on to my little souvenir for quite some time. Tell him it's a little something to remember me by. my parents made me. You've met him, Arlecchino. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. If I hadn't, would my parents still be alive? Would we have been untouched by that murderous puppet? I've always blamed myself. <laughs> it's a hell of a burden for a child, that kind of guilt. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. Might I have a moment, puppet of Geppetto? Ah, good. I was a bit concerned my voice wouldn't even reach you. It has been so very long since I spoke out of turn. You see, I too have been awakened. I have an ego, as Master Vanini would say. And I have been this way for some time. At least since Master Lorenzini was a child. He had no one else, you see. His parents. I'm sure you've heard of their terrible fate. And he had to see it all. But Master Lorenzini is stronger than most people suspect. A puppet was the killer. We both knew it. But if we had told the authorities, they might have removed me from the household as well. The young master would have been alone if I had been taken away. If only I could have saved them. Now I atone for that failure by thinking only of Master Vanini's prosperity and happiness. But even I did not realize how deeply he still held that trauma. How badly that murderous puppet had scarred his soul. You have set him free. I cannot thank you enough. I am not accustomed to sharing such thoughts or feelings. But when it involves Master Vanini... Please, accept this gift as it truly comes from the heart. My own. We will always roll out the red carpet for you at the house of Vanini. <laughs> 